the day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Monday, October 31, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances at making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, by becoming a member of the High Stakes Patreon, you will have access to our best team picks, total picks, parlay picks and much more. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Philadelphia Phillies vs Houston Astros the Houston Astros wasted very little time in bouncing back from their first postseason loss. The Astros' offense got going early, with three straight doubles in the first inning, jumping out to a 3-0 lead after just one inning. Alex Brigman belted a two-run home run in the fifth inning to back a strong starting performance from Framer Valdez in a 5-2 Astros win. Valdez struck out nine batters in 6.1 innings while allowing just four hits and one run. The Astros' bullpen finished off Philadelphia, and the series is now knotted at one. The biggest story for the Astros might have been the re-emergence of Jose Altuve, who went 3-for-4 after coming into the World Series with just three hits and 35 at-bats in the postseason. He is now hitting .444 in the two games in the Fall Classic. The Philadelphia Phillies did what they had to do in Houston, earning a split of the first two games of the World Series. If they stay to form, the Phillies could be hoisting a World Series trophy by the end of Game 5 of this series. Philadelphia comes home with a perfect 5-0 record in front of the truly fanatical Phillies fans. In those five games, the Phillies have outscored the opposition 35-15. In Game 2, with a chance to go up 2-0, the Phillies' offense fell flat. A sack Wheeler started slowly and, unlike in Game 1, the Phillies could not come back from a 5-0 deficit this time. The Phillies had just six hits in the game and struck out 11 times, while Bryce Harper was held hitless in four at-bats. The Astros now head into the house of horrors that is Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, needing just one win to assure that they'll be back home for Game 6. The Astros have to feel good about Altuve's hitting thus far, as well as the first inning double by Jordan Alvarez in Game 2 that may have awoken his slumbering bat. The slugger has hit just .143 since his home run heroics in games 1 and 2 of the Alves. He has just 2 RBI in that time as well. Houston will turn to a playoff veteran in Game 3 as they hand the ball to Lance McCullers Jr. The righty has made 18 postseason appearances, and this will be his 11th start. In this postseason, he hasn't had a decision, but has a solid 2.45 ERA and has a 10.64 K9 rate. He made one start against the Phillies this year and took the loss despite allowing just one run in six innings. I have liked the Astros to win this series from the outset, but went with Philadelphia in Game 1 before backing the Astros in Game 2. The pitching matchup here is fairly even, but I have more faith in McCullers Jr. when he faces the Philadelphia lineup the second time through the order than I do Syndergaard. Syndergaard is no longer the pitcher that could hit triple digits on the radar gun and has gotten by with a steady diet of off-speed pitches to keep batters off balance. This has worked in short stints but may be more challenging for him in a starting pitching role. Syndergaard faced the Astros twice this season with a 2.89 ERA. However, he only pitched 9.1 innings in those two starts while allowing five hits and three runs. He also walked an alarming six batters in the two appearance, while striking out just four. I like this veteran Astros lineup against him a third time and with plenty of video to review. Houston has hit just .200 on the road, but have three home runs in three games, and Philadelphia's park is tailor-made for this power-hitting lineup. Altuve's .444 average in the two game completely changes the outlook of this Astros lineup. Alvarez should feast in this park as well. In what is nearly a must-win game to avoid giving the Phillies momentum with two more home games, I'm going with an Astros team that is 3-0 on the road in the playoffs, and that will force the Phillies' hand to go to their bullpen early. Take the Astros minus 134. The Phillies are exactly where they want to be at this point. Three straight games at home with a chance to win the World Series. The Phillies have hit .296 at home in the playoffs, with 12 home runs thus far in the postseason. 
The Phillies will turn to right-hander Noah Syndergaard in this critical Game 3. Syndergaard has postseason experience and will be making his fourth appearance of these playoffs and his fifth career playoff start in his career. Syndergaard is pitched out of the bullpen primarily in the playoffs, so he may have a short stint in this one before turning it over to the lights-out Phillies bullpen. Game 3 of the 2022 World Series will take place Monday night in Philadelphia as the Philadelphia Phillies host the Houston Astros. Houston comes into Monday after securing a Game 2 win Saturday night to even the series at one game apiece. Framer Valdez dominated on the mound for Houston, allowing only one run on four hits across 6.1 innings of work. The Houston bullpen was immaculate as well, allowing one run on two hits over the final 2.2 innings to secure the victory. Offensively Houston did just enough from the plate with seven hits in 38 bats, but two hits with runners in scoring position led to five runs. Alex Brigman led the way for the Houston lineup with a two-run home run in the fifth inning. Jeremy Pina and Jordan Alvarez chipped in as well driving in one run each. The Philadelphia Phillies return home Monday night after stealing home field with a victory in Game 1. Zach Wheeler took the loss for Philadelphia in Game 2 after giving up five runs on six hits across five innings of work. The Philadelphia bullpen was much better than the starter, allowing no runs on one hit over the final three innings of the game. Offensively Philadelphia was much different in Game 2 than that of Game 1 with only 6 hits and 31 at-bats, including 0-7 with runners in scoring position to leave 7 men on base. Gene Segura was the only real bright spot in the Philadelphia lineup with one hit and 3 at-bats to drive in one Philadelphia run. The Houston Astros will look to take their first series lead after tying the setup at one win apiece, following their 5-2 win over the Phillies in Game 2 last time out. Alex Bregman had a two-run home run, while Jeremy Pina and Jordan Alvarez each had a double and an RBI in the win. Jose Alchu had three hits with a double, while Chaz McCormick each added a base hit as well to finish off the offense for the Astros in the winning effort. Framer Valdez got the win, allowing just one run on four hits with nine strikeouts over 6.1 innings of work. Lance McCullers Jr. will get the start in Game 3 for the Astros. The Philadelphia Phillies will try to restore their series lead after the loss to the Astros in Game 2 last time out. Gene Segura had an RBI, while Nick Castellanos and Alec Bohm each had a double. Kyle Schwarber, Reese Hoskins and JT Realmuto each had base hits, as well as the Phils had just six hits as a team in the losing effort. Zach Wheeler ended up with a loss, allowing five runs, four earned, on six hits with three strikeouts over five innings of work and defeat. Noah Syndergaard is slated to get the start in Game 3 for the Phillies. Houston is 8-1 in their last nine playoff games and 47-16 in their last 63 games against a team with a winning record, while the under is 7-3-1 in their last 11 road games. Philadelphia is 4-1 in their last five playoff games and 41-19 in their last 60 home games, while the over is 7-1 in their last eight home games against a team with a right-handed starter. Take the over eight run.